So I've been asked, been asked to, to speak a little bit about why we should pray for and why we should witness to those who are far from God. And basically I see four different reasons uh, that we should do that. The first is that Jesus came to save those who were lost and many of those were outcasts. The, the ones on the fringe of society, the ones that we would think could never be saved. We have the Samaritan woman at the well in John 4. I mean, she had multiple marriages and she was cohabitating, living with, shacked up with the guy that she was with at that point. Zacchaeus, tax collector. He was a thief. He stole. He was a traitor to his people. The woman who washed Jesus' feet as he, with her tears as he was at the home of Simon the uh, Pharisee. See, no one was too far gone for Jesus. We even find him seeking after Saul, the murderer and oppressor of the church. So we, he came for those who were lost, and that's who we should be reaching out to. We see Jesus praying for those who were far from God. As he came up to Jerusalem for the final Passover that he would have before his crucifixion, Jesus prays for the people of Jerusalem who didn't recognize him and who were actually responsible for his death and even hanging on the cross. As he hung there in excruciating pain, physical pain, emotional, spiritual pain, his prayer was that the Father, excuse me, would forgive them. We see the result of sharing the gospel with those who are far from God. Peter preached in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost and 3,000 were saved in one day. As the Christians were driven from Jerusalem during the persecution following the stoning of Stephen, they carried the gospel with them wherever they went and everywhere that they went, they shared Christ and many were saved. While some of those were Jews that they encountered along the way, Many were pagans, atheists, that lived in the communities where they settled or where they were going through. And in time, Gentiles became the largest part of the church. And truthfully, truthfully, we have to recognize that at one time, we were, we were all far from God. The Apostle Paul writing to the church at Corinth, one of the most hedonistic cities of the time, talked to them about sexual immorality and idolaters, adulterers, homosexuals, thieves, the greedy, the drunkards, the slanderers, and the swindlers. And then Paul reminds them that some of them were just like they were. And, and when we really think about it, about how Jesus defines sin in the Sermon on the Mount, then we have to recognize it wasn't just some of the people in Corinth. In the Corinthian church, it was all of them. You know, we're not that different from the Corinthians, but thankfully, someone told us about Jesus, and we believed. Shouldn't we be the someone or someone else? Let's pray. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for saving me, but Father, more than that, I thank you for the opportunity to serve you by sharing Christ with the ones around us. Lord, we, we may see them, and, and we, we may think that they're just so far gone, but Lord, we know that no one is too far gone for you. Father, I've, I've seen you save people the last day they were alive. I've seen you save people who you, 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 would, you would never think could be saved. People who are just so far gone. But Lord, you are faithful. And, and Lord, you give us that opportunity it's not just a responsibility, Lord. It is an opportunity to serve you, Father, to serve your church, to change someone's life. 
I thank you. And Father, I just pray that we would be faithful to share Jesus Christ with everyone that we meet. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.